Hi there! In this video, we are going to analyze the characters in The Secret River, a play that was adapted by Mr. Neil Arnfield. Before we dig in, we first need to think why. Why? Why? Are we supposed to analyze characters of the text? Hmm, that's a good question. Well, what do you think? It's important because analyzing a character equals to knowing what the creator is trying to tell you. And as you know, in every piece of text, there is a purpose, like why has he or she decided to create the piece? Now, to find it out, we are going to analyze two characters from the play. First off, William Thornhill. He is a former convict in England, determined to find freedom in rigid English class system and dreams of establishing a farm. Initially, upon arriving in Australia, his interactions with the Derek people are characterized by sheer optimism. He believes he can persuade them to move on from the land. In contrast, a character named Thomas Blackwood is a reclusive settler, an outsider, but respects and admires the Derek people's way of life. Throughout the play, he has learned parts of the Derek language in which he converses with his wife, an Aboriginal woman. Despite his being an outsider, Blackwood represents a noble alternative as he respects and learns from the Derek culture. Now, these two men think. What do you think they represent? Blackwood represents a path that history could have taken and also a traditional point of view while Thornhill carefully pictures a shameful and violent reality of Australian colonial history. Looking at what we've listed down, what is the creator or director trying to tell us? Well, it is first to refute the label of savage that the settlers give to the Aboriginal people and to convey the richness of the culture of their community and their deep attachment to the land. Last but not least, it is to contrast the overconsumption of Western civilization with the Aboriginal people's understanding of delicate balance of nature. To extend, the modern world with its disregard for the natural environment should open its eyes to the wisdom of Aboriginal people. Now that we analyze two characters, try to think about this question for deeper analysis. Can understanding the past from different perspectives help us confront the inequalities that linger in our presence? Or is it still an impossible task for us to accomplish? To conclude, in today's video, we have analyzed the two main characters in the play, Thornhill and Blackwood, and digged out the underlying themes intended by the creator of the text. Remember, the play's setting sets on the Hawkesbury River between September 1813 and April 1814. Back in the era, the Derek people who lived there at this time called the river Durumban. Well, I hope the video was helpful and I'll see you again in the next upcoming videos. Bye bye!